Hello, doers. My name is Jose Ignacio, and today we're going to be talking about voiceover IP. At Stealthywood, our sales team uses voiceover IP through Odoo or VoIP for my acronym lovers. Now, it increases efficiency, it improves communication, and they get to use a single interface to access everything that they need while they're on the phone with customers, where they always need to be. Now, VoIP is a digital telephone system that can be easily configured by the layman. It is the technology that uses a high-speed internet connection instead of a regular boomer phone line. A VoIP server can be configured to set up greetings, dial by name directories, voicemails, and even call queues. Now today, I'm going to walk you through my day working as an account executive. So, enough chit-chat, I'm hungry to make some calls. Alright, so here I am on the main dashboard of my Odoo database. I'll start by opening up my CRM application where I can see all my sales opportunities. So we're going to go into CRM. Got all these sales things, and we're going to open up this Paul Smith opportunity right there. Now, I have a call scheduled today to chat with him, which I can actually see via the chatter over here. Now, I can start this call in three ways. Now, when I hover over the phone field, a call button appears over here, and that's the first way. I can also click on his number directly over here inside of the chatter to directly call him, and that's our second way. Or I can open up my VOIP widget up here, this little phone icon. There we have Paul Smith in a very handsome photo. And it tells us the people that we need to call for our next activity. So let's call Paul right from his activity. Now I'm going to click over here towards where the activity appears. And I'm going to initiate the call. And boom, there we have it. Now we've called Paul. And let's see if he picks up on this other phone. Hello, Paul. Now once I'm in the call with Paul, I can open up his contact card by clicking on the customer icon that we have right there. And it'll show us everything there. Here, I get to see his address. All of the internal notes that I might have over here. See, great customer. And I could see a lot of other things. I can look at his past sales even up here at the top with all these smart buttons and the opportunity itself. I can actually click directly in there to see them as well. Boom. I could see what he ordered and if it was delivered or not. And it looks like he purchased a large meeting table from us already for his company. So I'm actually going to open up the VOIP widget again where I can also, if I would like to, send him an email directly by clicking on this mail icon. Now let's say that on our phone call, Paul is expressing interest in our new products. Luckily, I have an email template ready for this exact situation. To fill him in, I'm actually going to click over here on the email, and I'm going to select where it gives me the option to load a template over here, and what do you think it's going to be? It's going to be that meet our latest connection. And once that he sees that and everything is there, I can also make edits if I want to personalize it a bit. So let's tell him. Thanks, with love. Little heart there, just to remind him it's personal. I can also make the edits on the email on the fly as you just saw. And I can even save this as a new template in case that I want to tell everyone I love you in this template. Everything looks good, so I can actually just hit send right there while we're still on this call. And it'll send it directly. Now all his questions have been answered, so I'm going to end the call from the widget. So we're going to go in here, and we're just going to click that unfortunate end button right there. Boom. Now we're back over here to the Paul opportunity. So in our case, let's go back over to his opportunity via the breadcrumbs. Now we'll notice something else. Right away in the chatter, I could see records showing that I made the call today, along with the duration of the call. I can also see I sent that email as well with our latest collection of products. Now it looks like Odoo took care of it for me. Now in our case, let's assume that we want to do something else with Paul. But... I don't know exactly what to do, but oh my god, would you look at that? Hold the phone. It looks like I have an incoming call from Paul himself. Let's pick it up because I want to make these sales. Now, I knew that because my VOIP widget popped up. It started screaming at me. I could also see his picture and his caller ID so that I know it's not a scammer calling me. Now, I've already answered his call by clicking that quick little green icon right there. And after viewing my email, Paul has told me he'd like to purchase one of our products over the phone. So in our case, we're actually going to give him a new quotation. And we're going to minimize this first. He wants to purchase a conference chair. So we're going to minimize this. He's still on the phone. And now he let me know that he wants basically just one of our chairs. So let's put that right there. All right. So we're going to do a conference chair. Perfect. Give him options. They'll love him. Save this right there. Okay. Now once that we're done, we can actually confirm this. And would you look at that, Paul is being a little bit annoying now. He's letting me know that he's a little concerned about the dimensions and whether it'll work well in his space. So, I have to hop back into the VOIP widget up here. And I'm going to click on this clock icon. 
And what am I going to do? I got to call him again. And we're going to call him again in a week so that we could breathe a little bit. And we're going to tell him it's Dimension Chat. Why? Just leave that for us. All right. Now that we scheduled this, everything has changed. We're ready to save this. Perfect. Now I'm going to end this call again because Paul is being annoying. So let's go over here and close it. Paul is all set. Voila. Now if I go back to his contact by clicking on the name inside of here or anywhere else at this point, you'll notice that we have something else that pops up for us. It lets us know I have an activity to call Paul that's due in a week on the chatter on the right hand side if I check on his actual contact card. Boom. I got to call him in seven days for our dimension chat. And that's it. That's a day in the life of an account executive like me using Odoo VOIP. Now, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the other videos.